Greetings, motor maniacs and autophiles. Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, where we channel horsepower-drenched passion and a bit of automotive wit into every discourse. Today, we're journeying through the serpentine circuits of the 2024 Kia Telluride, a symphony of design and engineering that has the automotive realm abuzz. When powertrain prowess meets elegance, while many automobile manufacturers are downsizing engines and jumping onto the turbocharged bandwagon, Kia resolutely continues its tradition with the Telluride. Residing beneath its hood is the symphonic 3.8-liter V6, an engine that prefers authenticity over artificial aspiration. Generating a noteworthy 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, this vehicle doesn't just saunter, it strides. The Telluride's graceful propulsion to 60 miles per hour in a mere 6.8 seconds speaks to its inherent poise and power. With a linear throttle response, the engine sings even at peak RPMs, making highway merges feel less like chores and more like thrilling crescendos. Pair that with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and the Telluride remains perpetually in its performance sweet spot, ensuring both silky shifts and ready power. Is towing your game? Don't let the torque figures deceive you. This SUV effortlessly hauls up to 5,500 pounds, standing shoulder to shoulder with the best in its segment. The Piston Pundit verdict? It's a harmonious blend of refinement and grunt. The Telluride's ground etiquette. Too many modern SUVs have been infected with an identity crisis, trying desperately to emulate sports car dynamics while disregarding their intrinsic attributes. Thankfully, the Telluride remains an authentic full-sized SUV. With a suspension that absorbs undulations rather than wrestling with them, it's the epitome of poised comfort. Kia's offering of optional air suspension lets drivers tailor their ride, ranging from cloud-like comfort to taut highway cruising. Yet, should you wish to tango through a twisty route, the Telluride remains poised, neither floating like a wayward boat nor jarring your spine. While the Piston Pundit doesn't recommend pushing it like a coupe, this SUV's cornering capability may just raise a few eyebrows. And for those who venture beyond the polished tarmac, the Telluride welcomes the challenge. Boasting 8.4 inches of ground clearance and a transmission that emphasizes torque delivery, this is no mere urban dweller. While it might not rival dedicated off-roaders, the Telluride confidently holds its own against its contemporaries. Remember, not every SUV dares to tread the path less traveled. The Telluride does. A dash of nostalgia with contemporary flair. Last year's Telluride flirted with a facelift, but 2024 sees this vehicle refining its allure. The introduction of amber daytime running lights not only adds distinction, but transports us back to an era when halogen lights bathed roads in a warm hue. This nod to the past, fused with modern design elements, solidifies the Telluride's unique position in today's market. The gloss black trim finish on the Telluride X-Line and X-Pro variants isn't merely aesthetic, it's a statement. Distinct from their non-all-wheel drive siblings, these models exude a rugged charm without appearing overwrought. It's these subtle touches, where design intertwines with functionality, that elevate the Telluride's character. In the expansive automotive galaxy, where vehicles often blur into a homogenous mass, the 2024 Kia Telluride stands tall, merging tradition with innovation. For both the initiated gearhead and the curious newcomer, this SUV offers a masterclass in balanced automotive design, an interior to stir the gearhead's soul. When we think Kia Telluride, many might picture its robust exterior, but oh boy, it's the inside that's the true piece de resistance. Kia has outdone themselves with an interior that doesn't just lead its class, it downright dances on the line of those high-end, pocket-burning luxury vehicles, and honestly, we're here for it. That dashboard layout, it's not just functional, it's art. We're talking about a seamless integration of a 12.3-inch infotainment screen with an equally grand digital gauge cluster. It feels like something straight out of a sci-fi film, or, dare I say, 
reminiscent of the luxurious BMW 7 Series. Now allow me to geek out on some technicalities. That dashboard's leather and aluminum finish? That's not just showmanship. It's a testament to Kia's commitment to bringing premium features to the mainstream. Remember when that combo was the exclusive playground of cars that cost as much as a small house? And while we're diving deep, let's not overlook the sumptuous seats swathed in Napa leather with stitching that showcases a craftsman's precision. Ventilated and heated seats both front and back? Check. Whether you're driving the family for a Sunday outing or pulling up to a car meet, the Telluride ensures you do it with panache. Speaking of ambiance, ever tried a peaceful meditation at 70 miles per hour? Well, the Telluride gives you close to that experience. Despite its sizable frame, the cabin stays whisper quiet. Massive shout out to that top tier soundproofing and those hush hush laminated windows. And let's not forget the purring heart under the hood, the engine. Its serene hum complements the interior calm. That, my friends, is attention to detail taken to an extreme. Navigating the pricing labyrinth. Ah, the price tag. The ultimate determinant of whether this car will remain in our dreams or make it to our driveways. Starting at a tantalizing $35,990 for the base LX model, you're getting a package that's undeniably tempting. But let's be candid, while it offers a trove of features, the LX has its quirks. My two cents? The Telluride S, with its relatively modest jump in price, offers way more bang for your buck. Those Syntex seats are what auto dreams are made of. And yes, we've seen those 20-inch alloys. Not entirely a home run in design, but they make a statement. Now, the Telluride EX is where the plot thickens. Teetering between luxe and budget-friendly, it's the automotive equivalent of a personality crisis. It's got the leather seats, the fancy interiors, but still leaves you wanting, especially when you consider its siblings. Enter the EX X-Line and SX. These are the showstoppers, with interiors and extras that make you feel like royalty. Yet every car has its Achilles heel. The SX X-Line's $49,285 tag feels a bit hefty, especially when the benefits seem scant. A quick mention of the SX X Pro and its love for all-terrain tires. Honestly, for the added cost, the returns are meager. However, the SX Prestige? Now that's a head-turner. With its Napa leather glory, standard all-wheel drive, and unbeatable comfort, it beckons the discerning buyer. If your pockets are deep and your taste impeccable, this might just be your chariot. As for the SX Prestige X-Line and Prestige X-Pro, well, it's a classic case of diminishing returns. For those price tags, they just don't bring enough new to the table. If I were swiping that credit card for a Telluride, I'd likely cozy up with the EX X-Line or the unadulterated SX. They epitomize a blend of luxury and value that's hard to beat. And for those looking to splurge, the SX Prestige could be your indulgent treat. So there you have it, car connoisseurs, the Telluride tale, analyzed and dissected by yours truly. For more engine musings, torque talk, and auto analyses, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay in gear and tune in for our next vehicular venture.